Berkey presented by Free Wheel is underway. So I met the Fat Bike Berkey. This is my first time here, and I didn't really know what to expect. There were over a thousand riders in three different races. There's the full fat race, which is 47K or 29 miles. There's the half fat, which was 21K or 13 miles. And then the fun fat was 10K or 6.2 miles. I would be riding the half fat, which was 21K or 13 miles. Now these groomers are serious professionals. They know what they're doing. And that's the closest I was going to get to the podium. We went inside to check out the expo and we ran into somebody that uh, it was nice to see there, a volunteer. He's impressive. Uh, sir, what is your name? Uh, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is your job here today? Taking care of the MTB Sherpa trail guy. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure everything's right. All right. Here I am at uh, Cable, Wisconsin. I'm at the uh, Fat Bike Berkey. I'll be doing the half fat. Ten, nine, eight. Here we go. Seven. Six, hey, Mark, you take it all. So, at the start of the race, you get to see all kinds of amazing people. There was even a guy with a dog in his backpack. <laughs> Now once we got into the actual race course, and as you can see, it took uh, 27 seconds for me to get to the start line. Uh, Pelkey was behind me, but he quickly passed me uh, until uh, he was going downhill and I managed to pass him. <laughs> yes, there he goes behind me. Now, that was probably the last time I was ahead of him, and as you can see, I just grabbed him to slow him down, but it didn't work because that guy took off. And as you can see ahead of me, in the yellow jacket, that was the last I saw of him because then he was gone. Now, the trails were in amazing shape, and as we went up the hills, they, you think you're going up the biggest one, and then the next one is even bigger. So you, you hope you get a good run down the downhill and roll up as far as you can, because once you get to the point where you can't roll anymore, you've got to pedal. And this hill, as you see ahead of me, was the biggest one of all along the power lines. During the uh, ski berkey, they have drummers along the, the power line there, and they're drumming as the skiers come up the hill. Now, the guy that just passed me, there's a dog in his backpack, and yes, I got beat by a guy with a dog in his backpack. Now, even though there were a lot of people on the course alongside me, not many of them were talkative, mainly because we were all trying to catch our breath from those big hills. And I would imagine this would have been a much different race if this was single track, but with the wide trails, it was easy to pass people and to get past. Are you good? You need anything? Chain tool? Chain broke. I'm not sure. I got a tool. The problem is I don't have an extra link. Oh. You want to splice it? Yeah, I need the. So after all that hard climbing, I'll let you enjoy a little bit of downhill. So, past the halfway point, beautiful day out, we're on the uh, Berkbeiner ski trails. My, my cutoff should be coming up any minute now. Oh yeah, here it is. Hey! Have fun over here! Have a great ride! High five! 
five. High five. All right, way to go. Thanks for being out here. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Me and my partner have been hopscotching her the whole time. <laughs> She's gonna be crushing me here. Where are you from? Uh, near Chicago. Okay. Rockford, Illinois. As the race went on, there were times where I was rocking and rolling. I was passing people. Even going uphill, I was passing people. And then there were moments during the race where I had no energy and uh, my legs were tired and I didn't want to go any further. But uh, it was pretty fun out there, both situations. Now you've probably noticed a lot of white ice crystals flying by. And no, it's not snowing out and they're not falling off the trees. What's happening is, my tires are kicking up all those little ice crystals from the uh, corduroy that the groomers put down and it made it feel like it was snowing and I was constantly getting pelted by these little little ice balls. All right, I got about 10k to go. Having a good time. Don't forget to watch the uh, Billings, Montana Cliffs ride. sugary on that corner. You heard me just mention the Billings Montana Cliffs ride. Well that's another ride Tina and I did last year and uh, look for it on future videos. It should come out about a week after this video. Okay here's where I gotta kick myself. I had just stopped and changed my battery on my camera and I got to stop I didn't even get a drink I started riding and I remembered I was thirsty I took a drink went to put my water bottle back in and guess what I missed oh. I had to stop and go get it now here you're watching me get ready to go down this long steep hill and when I get to the bottom it's a very hairpin corner and I wasn't quite ready for it and I almost went off the trail <laughs> you see my uh, sense of relief that I didn't wipe out Richard Sumner. Finished the half fat. Pelkey kicked my behindy. How'd you feel, Pelkey? Awesome. I told you at the start. That's the last time I have to look at your back. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had to show me. Uh, All right. How do you how do you think the course was today? The course was fast. The course was fun. The course was amazing. He's on the. All right. Now we're at Trudy's uh, Tilly's Pie with Trudy. She's whipping us up some pie. It turned out to be a great overall event and we got to do some exploring in Hayward. I got to visit the Lumberjack World Championship Lumberjack Bowl as well as the uh, Fish Museum. And as I was uh, touring around, I saw some amazing things. Those are uh, bike diapers to keep the bikes clean on the road. The amazing groomers that took care of the Berkey Trails. And then, uh, yeah, my bib when I registered on Friday. I was pretty happy and then there's me at the uh, finish line where I was going to hit the next day and uh, yeah that was the closest I got to the podium for the weekend but thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. It turned out to be a really fun event and one that I would consider doing again.